cover them. Okay, and then for my forehead, <coughs> put the card on top of my highlight. And then for the temple and across the eye, I actually use a, that same dark shadow for my uh, contour, but you go across the eye and up onto the forehead. Concentrate on the temples because that's where the most definition needs to be. And the reason you use the card is to guide the color so it doesn't get on your cheeks. And then for the across the top of the board, I'm using that same dark brown, but I'm using it a, a lot lighter of it. And this is just to shape the forehead because women have a natural and more natural thin forehead, I mean, uh, taller face than we do. And it's just shaping the forehead. Make sure you have all your hair pulled back as well. So that's that. <coughs> what I'm going to do next is actually um, I'm going to go to my eyes and what I'm using now is Saddle by MAC. You can do your eyes however you want to. I'm going to do mine the same way I normally do because it's quicker and I know exactly what I'm doing whenever I do it this way. Take the card, put it back on top of your highlight. Just any kind of brush you need. <coughs> and just map out where you want the color. Use a lighter color first so that if you have to, you can go back and fix it. <coughs> then I'm going to go and do it under my eye. Then I'm going to go and do my crease. With this, this you probably want to use a smaller brush like I have. I don't know what it is. It's just a regular angle brush. It looks like that. I'm going to create my crease. I'm actually going to use my brow since I have it now. I'm going to start in the corner of my eye and just go up on top of my brow bone. Since I have hooded eyes, I'm going to go across my brow bone. <coughs> If I didn't have them, then I would do something else. But if I don't, it's going to look funny. And I forgot something in a second ago. Which I'll, I'll go back into that in a second because I can fix it. So, but anywho. It's the amazing thing about makeup. You can fix anything. It's my first tutorial. So, it's going to be kind of spastic. But anyway, you do the same thing on the other side. The card. The line. Under the eye. And then create your crease. You want them as even as possible. So, there's that. <laughs> okay, now, um, I forgot one of my contours. I'm actually going to use my, su my Sundance palette for this. Just take a, any kind of brush, and you want it on the sides of your nose. If you have a prominent nose, you don't want to contour too much because then it'll just end up making your nose look bigger. And what this does is it actually slims the nose out because women also have a naturally thinner nose than we do. Go back, reapply my highlight powders. See? <coughs> okay. Now, 
Um, no, 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 no. I'm just gonna put a little bit of color in my eye. This is Passionate by Mac. It looks like this. It's pretty. I'm just gonna take just a fluffy angle brush, dip it in, and sweep it across. the crease, just to give it a little bit of color. You don't have to worry about it, this part being too incredibly neat, <coughs> because in a minute whenever we go back and do the crease, darken the crease, we're going to add a black to it, which is going to make it, it's going to clean it up a little bit. See, there's that. And again, you have to ignore my eyebrows. Normally I don't have them and I don't have the stuff to cover them. So. And this is just out of boredom. I said, hey, I've had people locally ask me how I do my makeup, so why not show the world? And now I know why, because I'm not ready. But whatever. But I have to start sometime. So there's that. Got the color on both sides. <coughs> now I'm actually going to take Carbon by MAC, which is black. Everybody ignore that because I need to do some more. But anyway, um, and then just a fluffy, fluffy pencil brush looking thing. I'm going to start in the outer corner and drag it at the base of where I put my crease earlier. If you want a more intense color, you can use um, a primer before you do any color. And you can also lick or wet somehow one or another the uh, brush and it will intensify the color quite a bit. But that's just to give me a crease. Sorry, I heard something. Then I'm going to go back and add just a little bit more of the, the passionate on top of the black. Just to blend it a smidgen. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the card again and extend the passionate to my hairline. Just any kind of brush that you want. Just depends on the look you're going for. Um, let's try this one. This is just a little paddle brush. It's probably an easier way to do this, but because of the simple fact I'm, I've not done this in a while, and I'm actually missing quite a few brushes, because the last show I did, I didn't grab everything, and obviously they're not going to be there next time, because I use some of the more elegant things. Anyway, it just adds a little bit of drama and whatnot to the look. I should have done it on the other side first. Sorry, but now you need to see how I did it. Just drag it. Drag the color. Adding more when you need it. But anywho, okay, now I'm going to take a white. This is from my black and white duo by NYC. Looks like this. With that same paddle brush. The white on the brush. 
is going on my lid and in the corner of my eye. And I'm also going to take it and put it up here, just above that color for my brow highlight. I do my brows in just a second. Um, de -dum -dum -dum, de -dum -dum -dum. This is a liquid gel liner, or gel liner in brown, I believe is what, it's, what it is. Yes, brown, it's number 930 by HIP. And just that same angled brush from earlier. Just dip it in some of the product on the brush. And I'm going to start mine just above just above where my natural brow would start and just draw just like that and do the other one it's hot in here do the other one Your brows are not twins, they're sisters, so they're not going to look the same, or perfectly the same. You're going to have a bit of difference, but you want to get them as close to the same as possible. See? And just take and flare it out to as thick as you want it. Now I've not put any more product on my brush because I've got a fair amount on my face. But depending on how you want your brows to look, you know, so I need a little bit more on this side, you can add more. But I per I personally suggest adding just what's on your face first. That way you don't end up having them uneven. But your brows are fine. Your brows are really what's going to shape your face. There we go. So your brows are really going to shape your face um, because you can go crazy with them as, as, as well as your lips. <clears throat> but anywho, speaking of lips, um, let me go back and add my highlight back in here. Um, I'm going to do pretty much a three-tone lip, or try to anyway. We've got two different, um, liners. One is Cranberry from Lumine. Never heard of that. I just I got it from a friend of mine, and the other one is Garnet by Moo or mm, Woo or something. It's this. Actually, it's upside down. There we go. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm gonna use the darker one in the corners of my lips, and I'm actually gonna do this in the mirror off camera. So, uh, be back. <laughs> 